Okay, part two, rows 10. I remember when we used to go to the club together, you gave me my first sour whiskey. I loved it. And I got tipsy. And you had to drive home. <laughs> Lola, you were there. Rose number 11. I remember we went out to the club one night and we drove your car. Your car was an automatic with the stick in the floor. I was used to driving a five speed. So while I'm driving your car, which is an automatic, I'm trying to put it in gear and it just kept <laughs> And I think I did that about three times. And you said, look, just let me drive. I think I kind of sobered you up a little bit. <laughs> but Lola, you were there. <laughs> okay, rose number 12. I remember when I was in this toxic relationship. And the person harmed me very badly. They told you about it, and you came to the hospital in our hometown. Then they transferred me to another town because they couldn't, you know, help me in our hometown. You followed that ambulance all the way to the next town. And you stayed with me until I came out of that hospital, Lola. You were there. Rose number 13. I remember after the harm done to me, I couldn't eat anything good or solid. You came over every day and took me to KFC and bought me mashed potatoes, made sure I had something to eat every day. Lola, you were there. Rose 14. I remember after the home done to me, they had cut my hair. I had to wear a wig. My face was bruised up. I didn't feel good about myself at all. You came and you took me to a pool party you and your friends was throwing. You guys made me feel so good about myself, encouraging me in all ways. You guys, no, the guys <laughs> even wanted to tie somebody to their car and drag them. You guys really helped me out a lot in my bad times. Lola, you were there. Rose 15. I remember the time I called you to take my husband back to camp. Even though he didn't need us to take him back, he was playing games, hid the key, and told us he had locked it up in the car. You came to take him back. He acted so funny about it, but Lola, you were there. Rose 16, I remember when I called you to hook up my fire sticks. Every one of them, you hooked them up. I couldn't have done it without you. Lola, you were there. Rose 17, I remember when I realized my water bed 
was becoming a little bit too hard for me to manage. So I wanted to take the mattress out. I called you and asked you to help me to take the mattress out. To, to take the mattress out of the frame. It gave us the business that we got that big heavy thing out of there, but it wore us out. We did it. And I couldn't have done it without you. Lola, you were there. Rose 18. I remember when we started our fellowship on Saturdays, praising and worshiping the Lord, watching movies, having communion. It was just us, but we did it. We made it happen. Lola, you were there. Rose number 19. I remember when I was throwing my youngest son a birthday party, surprise birthday party. I called you and I said, I need help. And again, Lola, you were there. Rose number 20. Lola, it all started when we were in diapers. And I pray to God he will allow us to be together until we are in diapers again. Thank you, Lola, for being the best cousin a girl could ever ask for. People wonder why we so crazy about each other. Well, now they can see why as well as you. These are your flowers. Happy birthday. Love you, girl. Rose 